Hi everyone, Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts. Um, I had to go to Michael's to pick up some um, uh, pre-scored cards with the envelopes. I had a 40% off coupon and it was almost out. And I actually found these in the same bucket as the cardstock. Um, they're photo frame cards and envelopes. So I thought I'd go ahead and make up a few um, frames or photo cards for Father's Day. Now, I'm doing washi tape on all of them because um, I just never use my washi tape and I thought I remembered I had this particular design or pattern so we went ahead and, and did this one. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, it just, you put your little photo right inside, right inside there. So um, I have my camera at a different angle as you probably noticed because of me doing the washi tape I, I can't have it right in front of the camera right in front of me. I have to do it so that I can see. All right, so let's set that one aside. Now, I've mentioned in my other videos that I've been buying off of um, Peachy Keep, uh, sorry, PeachyCheap.com, and it comes up as Scrapbook Daily Deals on my Facebook page. And there was a Teresa Collins um, washi tape special, and I bought up a bunch of these. I got this one, and it's got a do a little. Um, Teresa Collins haul here. <laughs> I got this one that came together and then I really like this one. This is the masculine one as well. It almost looks like a barber shop, doesn't it? So we'll think of something like that, maybe with a mustache. And then I got this one, um, which is masculine, I think as well. Maybe that one could be used for both. I really like that one too. And then um, I got this one here and it says love and then these are crowns and then like a film uh, tape. So, all right, so let's get started on this one. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm just putting the strips down, and it really doesn't take very long as long as you can find the end of your washi tape, right? There it is. Okay, so you're going to start out, and I'm wanting to make sure that my mustache starts off at the right edge of the card. And if you've never used washi tape before, um, please know that it is so great because look, I can take it up and it didn't rip. So let's put that one there. And before I push down too far, I just want to make sure that I didn't go over in the back. And for now, I'm just going to cut the edge and then I'm going to go back and trim it all together. All right, so my next layer is the blue. And as you can see, it's gonna go over the frame, but that's okay because I'm going to actually use my blade and cut through it. Okay, I'm gonna do that last. Let's go ahead and get these down. Then I'm gonna go for this one. And then this one is actually Recollections, and I had bought this um, a while ago from Michaels. And that's only going to be one strip here, and one strip here. And one thing that was helpful that I forgot to do at the beginning was because this is, um, um, you know, white on white, I put a different color inside so that I could see where the actual frame part begin and end it. And that'll help my, my, with my cutting. And I don't know if you can actually see that um, here on the camera, but it's you can see now where I need to cut to make the, the frame complete. All right, so we're going to follow with the same pattern and go to the mustache paper. And I'm going to try to get a full mustache in, but that's not always going to work. I'm going to take this one up and redo it because I tore it off at an angle. It's not straight. Which is fine. I'm kind of rushing through things. That's probably why. Just cut that. Put that brown piece down again. Make sure that it's all the way. 
Gosh, I'm not even sure if you can see this if my hand is in the way. Okay. All right, so let's stick with the pattern. I'm going to go with the blue. I don't want to be too wasteful, right? On both sides. And then after the blue is the wood patterned one. I was watching YouTube videos and um, this one lady did her washi tape bucket and I thought, gosh, I don't feel so bad now because <laughs> um, I do have a container of it, but um, she had the best collection of it ever. And oh my gosh, you can do so many things with washi tape. Okay, so then the, um, mm, I should have done the mustache paper here. Too busy talking. I will save this though. Okay, back to the mustache. Again, I'm going to try to get a full mustache in. Do this black one like I did. Oh, you know what? Let's mix it up a little bit. Let's put this golden colored one here. Said, I don't know if you can actually see it with that angle of the camera. Okay, so then after that is the blue. Oh, okay, we're going to do something different here because we need to do the full strip of the blue. Then the brown. have one more layer of the mash mustache washi which will get cut off just a little bit which is fine okay I'm going to use my exacto and one of the things that's helpful um, is with that thing that I slid in there I can feel where the the frame begins and ends and I'm just going to ever so gently use that as my guide and there I stop and I'm not actually cutting into the frame itself because I've got that extra paper in it and like I said I'm using the the photo frame as my guide because I can kind of see it kind of feel it and it's raised but so ever so slightly. And the good thing is, is if you slip or you mess up, you just replace that piece of washi tape. It's very forgiving. Okay, now hopefully I have cut all of them enough that I can just peel it off. Yep. See how fast this is? And so cute as well. Come on. There we go. Goodness. Okay, and then down here with the blue. Just going to grab the edge, peel that off, and same with this one. And then when I go to um, do the edges for the outside, I'm going to flip it over. little bit. 
trimming right there. Okay, now we can flip it over and you'll see how all the washi is sticking out there. So get this extra off my hand here. And I'm gonna use this card edge as my guide. I really don't need to push that hard because washi is very delicate. Really, really cleans up the edge nicely when you use the exacto. Get that all in a ball there. And then clean up this edge. Oops. There we go. A little bit harder up here. There we go. It is sticky. And this edge. Ah, that guy's trying to sneak over. Look at that. Okay, and look how that just comes right off. Isn't that great? Alright, so then I wanted to put a sentiment on it, not make it too big or, um, you know, to take away from the adorable washi tape that I have here. Can't get it off my fingertips. So I went to my phrases, Cricut cartridge, and I found on page 25 the Happy Father's Day. Now, it's tricky with this one because this cut right here is very intricate, so you have to slow your speed down on your Cricut so that it'll cut. And to pick the right paper, you need a, a good thickness of paper. I'm just going to take a minute here and trim that one corner. Okay, so I cut this out at two inches and there's some little pieces here. Make sure I have everything. And I'm basically just going to set the word fathers right there and I'm going to glue this one on top. Now it cut out without the A having a hole in it so I went ahead and used my teeny tiny hole punch here and made my own hole. Get that out of there without ripping it. Gosh, that never happened to me before. There we go. And everything else looks okay, so let's go ahead and put some glue on it. Put it on top and adjust it. And then um, I'm only going to want to put glue on the actual word fathers because this is going to hang down over where the photo is and I guess a little bit right there would be okay as well. But the other part kind of hangs up out of the frame area. So that's going to go here. And then part of the word happy, that's the APP. <laughs> and then there's the Y. That will go there. Let me turn that phone off real quick. Alrighty, sorry about that. And um, what else needs to be done? I, oh, you know what? There was a little tiny, I didn't like the way that wasn't very detailed. So I had a little bit brown piece of leftover cardstock that I was going to put on there, but it seems to have gotten buried on my desk. Um, but what I did was I put it right here so that it actually says Father's Day. But alrighty, well, that's it for now. And um, if you have any questions, about anything, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks.